Today, we're going to be going over the concepts Mallard to Duncan, whatever you may call it, Nike SB Dunk High, set to release later this week. This is the one from Concepts, so it has the special packaging. And I wanted to make sure that you guys got a special look at this one in particular, just because of this dope packaging. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to smash the like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So I was able to get my hands on these early to give you guys a review, courtesy of my bro J-Mac. So make sure you go check out his podcast and don't forget to follow him on IG as well. Tell him DJ sent you. So let's go ahead and get into this because we have a lot to go over. Starting with the box, this is a shipping box that you will receive in the mail if you were able to order this from Concepts. Now this was available last week he got this from the concepts website retail was roughly around 250 bucks and as you know that's a lot more than you would typically pay for a pair of SBs but at the same time you are paying for the experience and the packaging and everything that comes with this pair in particular compared to the $120 price point that you would see on sneakers app so looking at the box right here it has all the same stuff all around the box and on the box it reads concepts oven on fire roast your friends in front of their friends and then it has a bunch of different random stuff on here high quality h2o just and it's an early don't smoke crack don't <laughs> you can cold cereal i think who's okay so there's a bunch of lot of random words right here i don't know if this is some like puzzle or something that they've created to make I don't know, this is like something that they got going on, but yes, this has a lot of weird words on it. So enough of that, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what's inside. So first thing right here, we have the oven vibes of the box. So looking at the box right here, it looks like an oven, which is crazy. Like the concept behind this alone, and I know the place is called concept, so I'm gonna say concept a lot, but this is just, honestly a dope concept and if you look back here on this side it's just like smoking and everything but if you look on the front side of it right here it has all the sizes and everything right here in the front so we are looking at a size 10 and a half and it says concepts x nike sb dunk high ter duncan okay now opening this up right here bruh quality is there for sure it's like it's all is there like a magnet on here or something? I don't know. But the material, everything, the quality, everything behind that alone, A1 for sure. First thing that we have on top right here, you have your Nerf packaging, you got your uh, pie, you got some corn with butter, you got your mashed potatoes and gravy, and then you got the turkey football right here on the inside. So it's got the Nerf with the concepts on the back right here, and then you got the Nerf whistle ball. So as you know, it's got the Thanksgiving vibes, and typically on Thanksgiving you play in a turkey ball, so they had to incorporate the football. And me personally, I really love that touch. So the next thing right here, we have a piece of paper which is supposed to represent the turkey, and on that it has the concepts logo, and it says concepts as well, as you can see right here. And then after that, we got the shoe. So I'm thinking this might be a special box just for this specific release. As we know, typically on SBs, when they have a special release, they typically do the rainbow box. And then when they have the regular release to the public, they do just a regular SB box. I hope they do the rainbow box for the regular release as well. We shall see. So on the inside of this box right here, it's kind of dope because you got the burner, but it also could look like the C for the concepts logo, which is super dope. You got the fire, everything going inside right here where the turkey cooks. So the presentation alone, just A1, like they did a great job. And typically on sneakers, you get, you know, a couple pair of laces or something may go with it, or the box may look a little bit cool, but this is an experience. You're literally purchasing an experience. And this is something that you could show all your friends when they come over and they're like, bro, check this out. And they gotta do this. And I think when there's so many steps to opening just to get to a pair of shoes, I think that's always dope. I know sometimes it can get a little tedious, but at the same time, I think you're paying for that experience. And for the 250 bucks, saying that the shoe is worth so much, which we'll talk about later on the resale value, I think it's worth it. Okay, so we have seen the packaging and now it's time to look at the shoes. So like I said before, we have the all over rainbow print box. And then on the tag right here, it reads the same thing. Nike SB Dunk High Pro Quick Strike, size 10 and a half, retail 120 bucks. Now that's for the regular pair without all the packaging, but this Dunk is still a regular SB Dunk, which retails at 120 bucks. Now, opening up the box, you have an extra pair of socks right here. Okay, with the concept stitched right here. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a bird's leg. You got the bird's leg right here with the claw down here at the end of the socks. Retail on these is $14. I think this all comes in the same packaging. 
and let's go ahead and get into this shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. Okay, so first impressions of this shoe. Honestly, I was more excited about the packaging than I am the actual shoe just because it's just not for me. I appreciate all of the work that went into this shoe. Trust me, I appreciate the materials. They look amazing, which we will get into in a second. But for me, I just don't see myself rocking these. And I wouldn't mind if I did or didn't get them or not. So as I, I know, I know, it's not the popular opinion. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this shoe. Let's talk about the styles, cuts, and materials. The things that I do appreciate about the shoe. And then we'll see what you guys think at the end of the video with the pole. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Nike SB outsole. You got kind of like a two-tone with a little light tan and kind of like that salmon kind of color right there to it. And then working our way up to the midsole, you got a lighter kind of pink colorway on the midsole with the pink colored stitch. And then going to the upper. Now the upper is mixed with a bunch of different materials. And I appreciate everything about the shoe again I am NOT knocking this shoe at all so these are supposed to represent a mallard duck if you don't know what it looks like here's a picture for you to check it out but basically that's the kind of concept and vibe that they're going behind it to create this shoe and I understand and I appreciate all of the execution and everything about these bruh like honestly they did a great job and when I seen first images of the shoe I think that's what really made me not like it as much because even if you look at the image on sneakers app they don't look nearly good as they do in person. Materials, everything. Quality, A1. Presentation, A1. They did a great job on this shoe. Looking at the toe cap right here, you kind of got like a shaggy material around the front. You got a light tan suede toe cap here on the top. Looking at the midfoot on the side panels, you kind of got that duck material kind of looking like it's a duck feather on the sides right here on both sides. And then you have a navy blue swoosh on the inside of the foot. It's kind of got that green iridescent vibe compared to the blue on the outside. The swooshes almost look like they're 3M, but they're actually not. Going to the back of the foot right here, you got a softer vibe on the material kind of feels like a little teddy bear or something like that you got a nice little suede on the back end of the heel right here and then you got a white sock liner and on the inside you got images of ducks trees and the logos concept right here on the inside of the sock liner the white leather bruh this is nice. Going to the tongue, you have an all green tongue, similar to the swoosh on the inside of the foot. You got a yellow leather Nike SB logo tab right here. It says Duck High Pro instead of Dunk High Pro. I think that's pretty dope. You have tan laces that come equipped with the shoes already. You have an additional pair of yellow laces and a pair of burgundy laces to go with these as well. Let me know what color laces you were rocking these down below in the comment section. So here's the question. DJ, if you like all these things about the shoe and the presentation and all that stuff, why are you still hating? on it why don't you like it honestly like i said it's just a very i don't know like maybe a collector's piece but it's just not hitting home for me i don't like hunting ducks you know I, it's just i don't know it's just not for me and i could respect a lot of shoes out in this world that's just not for me so i think there's a lot of hype behind the resale price and that's why there's a demand for this sneaker and causing people want to have it and honestly for $120 with the materials and everything that they did to this shoe, if I could buy these for retail, I could see myself hanging on to them just because I got them for 120 bucks, just based off of the materials and how well they did on the shoe. But I would never, ever, ever pay resale for a sneaker like this just to say that I had it. I think that's kind of where it divides the line on the fence for me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind grabbing it for retail just for the story and the concept and everything behind it and the materials and the presentation, but I would just never want to, no, I just couldn't do it. Like there's certain shoes that I'm down to do that and this is not one. Honestly, I feel like there's no right or wrong answer. It's all based on everybody's opinion, how they feel and what they want. You got to spend your money, I got to spend mine. And I'm just telling you right now, I'm willing to spend 120, but I'm never going to pay resale for something like this. So now let's see what the people are talking about. Typically I post on my story. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG, but I post on my story, is this shoe fire or trash? And I see what the people say and then I post the results on here so this is what the people say well it looks like they got a perfect score 69 to 31 <laughs> the majority of the people ended up going with these and I completely understand there's a lot of things to appreciate about this shoe and it makes a lot of sense but there's a lot of people that are like they want something simple they don't want too much and this may be just a little bit too much for them or maybe it's hard for them to rock and maybe it's just a collector piece I don't know I like SBs I really do but 
Again, eh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe, eh, eh, type of thing. So, so what I just said right there in that last two seconds, I don't know if any of that made sense, but that was my explanation about how I felt about these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I appreciate you, J-Mac, for letting me borrow these. Hey, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow him on IG and check out his podcast. The link is down below for his podcast as well. I appreciate you guys as always. And now it's my time to go. I'll see y'all tomorrow in another video. I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I gots to go. I'm gone. Peace.